ile siku utakubali kazi yako ni kazi kama zingine hiyo siku ndio utakuwa mtu wa maana kwa sababu hakuna tofauti na mwenye anaenda kwa ofisi na mwenye anafanya kwa nyumba mimi huambia rafiki zangu ofisi yangu inakuwa kwa nyumba because i believe this is my office hii ndio inanilipia bills zangu so kwa nini sikuwe ofisi yangu inakuwa kwa ofisi yangu na mimi sikuangi na na haya kuambia mtu ati mimi nakuanga house help no in fact watu wengi nikwambia mimi nakuanga house help wanakuanga hiyo ni uongo na mimi nawaambia yes ni kweli hapo ndio ofisi yangu inakuwa one day akaniambia e, anataka kunipeleka dina somewhere tukaenda kanunuliwa dina tukakula then akan surprise akaniambia anataka ku celebrate hizo times zenye tumekuwa na e. and nikapatiwa bahasha and bahasha yenye ilikuwa na, nayo ilikuwa na 100k 100k hata sikuamini and welcome back to Mommy Tales in case you're new here my name is Marianne and on this channel I share the encouraging and inspiring stories of different moms who go through certain episodes or experiences in their lives that we can all learn from and that's exactly what I'll be doing today I'll be sharing the story of Ruth who's a house girl and when Ruth went to work for her current employer like from day one like from the very very beginning she told her employer me I've just come to work for three months imagine after that I'm done can you imagine it's been 12 years <laughs> so what exactly changed that's what Ruth will be telling us and I also got to meet her employer who I talked to just a little bit about the situation and she'll tell us a few things so this is Ruth telling us her story in her own words night mm, Ruth wanjanja roge and I am born again uh nimi toka anakuru uko ndio nimezaliwa na uko ndio nimelelewa Nilianza job yangu nikiwa 12, 12 years 12 years old na ndio nilianza kazi yangu ya kwanza ya nani and uh, I kukua poor that much because nilikuwa mdogo si kwa najua job poor so ilikuwa tough kwa sababu lazima ningekuwa nina 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 learn things zenye si kwa suppose ku learn kama kwa iji yangu but by God's grace nilingangana and uh, ikafika place where after i think 3 months or 4 months nika wakanifire because sikuwa nafanya kazi vile inafaa kufanya ju nilikuwa bado mimi ni mdogo and uh, so nikaenda home and then because nilikuwa nimeshatoka home ilikuwa so hard kwangu kurudi tena home kukaa na nilikuwa nimeshajifunza for that 3 months kutoka home so hapo uh, ndio nikaamua this is what i want nataka kufanya kazi si si kukaa nyumbani because si kwa naenda shule si kwa uh, si kwa nafanya anything because my parents hawakuwa na pesa ya kunipeleka shule so ili nibidi tu ningangane na na job so ikakuwa ni kutafuta kazi baada ingine because kila nikienda place nilikuwa nakaa kidogo tu the, and then vile ninatreatiwa sikuwa na expect ni treatiwe kama kama mfanya kazi and i think kwa mind zangu nikienda nilikuwa nafikiria nafaa kutreatiwa kama mtoto wa nyumbani or something uh, sijui lakini ukweli ni kuwa walikuwa wanani treat wanani harass kuamka nikiwa tu mdogo mimi kwanza 12 to 14 bado ni, ni, ni mtoto mdogo and then nilikuwa naamka mapema kitu kwanza 5 unaamka and then kulala unalala saa sita unashinda ukifanya yani kila mtu nilikuwa nakutana na yeye hakuna mtu aliwahi ni treat vile nilitaka kutreatiwa kwa mind zangu kuna vile nilikuwa nimeset ninafaa kutreatiwa but the thing is si kupata mtu anaweza ni treat that way job ya kwanza yenye nilifanya nikiwa uh, 12 at least your mama ari ni treat poor because hakuwa inipigia kelele alikuwa ananiambiaga vile ninafaa kufanya juu kazi yangu ilikuwa kuangalia mtoto Kum, kumlisha kufua nguo zake and then kupika chakula zake nothing else hizo ndizo nilikuwa nafanya but the thing nilikuwa mimi bado ni mtoto so ni mtoto anaangalia mtoto so nilikuwa nasahau na job yangu ninaenda kucheza ninaachanisha mtoto anaenda kulia things kama hizo so 
akaona si sifanyi kazi yangu vile inafaa kukua so akaona ni vizuri niache kazi kwa sababu sielewi ni nini niko hapo kufanya so after that nimeangalia nika after that the next job nilipata nilipelekwa place where mwenye alinipeleka mwenye alikuwa ananichapa alikuwa hadi alikuwa ananichula mpaka na pens alikuwa i mean ilikuwa so hard so hard but hapo nilika i think another three months and then mimi mwenyewe nika get tired because mpaka ni place nilikuwa naenda mtoni kuchota maji place mbali sana nilikuwa naenda almost for two hours na nikirudi ataki ku understand that ni ni far away kwenye mtu anaenda mtoni so nikaacha hapo mi mwenyewe nika quit nikasema mimi sitaki nataka kurudi kwa mamangu so kurudi home hakuna kukaa ni kukaa one day and then nina desire i need to go sitaki kukaa nyumbani because the reason why siko nataka kukaa home ni kwa sababu home tulikuwa tuna struggle sisi wenyewe si kwa peke yangu tulikuwa niko na siblings wengine so si kwa peke yangu ilikuwa hard kukula ilikuwa hard na kila kitu so nikikaa hivi ni imagine tutaanza tena kungangania small food zenye tumepata akili yangu inaniambia i need to go so ikakuwa ni kazi baada ya kazi kazi baada ya kazi na kila nikienda mahali hakuna mahali ninatiritiwa vile vile ninafaa kutiritiwa and then so nikiwa for uh, 16 nikapata mtoto wangu wa kwanza and then nika nikaka home for one to two years and then it ilikuwa hard tena mara mbili kuliko ya kwanza kukaa nyumbani sasa ni mimi niko na mtoto mamangu ana job babangu ana job so ni hard kukaa nyumbani and the only thing nilikuwa nafikiria ni vile naweza escape from this one so in that time ndio nikapata another tena chance ya kwenda ati ninatorokea the problems so nikapata nikaenda kuishi na mtu but unfortunately nilienda kuishi na jamaa unfortunately atukuka nilienda up kukua pregnant and then nikakuwa high workout so tena ikanibidi nirudi home sasa huyo ni mtoto wa pili at that time nikipata mtoto wa pili nilikuwa 18 so niko na watoto wawili and nikajiambia no wakati nilipata mtoto wa pili that is when it hit me nika realize i am a mother of two sina masomo sina kazi sina calls sina nini i need to do something ni me struggle a lot na one thing siezi taka ni watoto wangu wa go through kenya mimi ni me go through so at that uh, that moment ndio nikaanza kufanya vibarua 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 za za shamba ilikuwa my first time kushika jembe na ilikuwa hard kwa sababu the place yenye nilipatiwa nilipatiwa one plot then nilimaliza i think na one week kulima hiyo plot because eh, niki, nilikuwa najaribu kuinua first nilikuwa nimepata mtoto like 3 weeks ndio nikaanza kufanya hiyo kazi kwa sababu hakuna chakula hakuna nini lazima watoto wangu wakule lazima lazima mimi mwenyewe ni kule niko na mom niko na dad niko na wingi, kuna wengine hapo sitaki kutaja ni siblings so nikaamua i need to do something na ni kwanza vibarua so that watoto wangu wasi, wasihangaike vile mimi nimehangaika and hapo ndio nilianza kazi ya kulima mara ya kwanza i remember nililima hiyo uh, plot na one week mara ya pili nikapatiwa ingine nikamaliza na uh, i think four days ya tatu nikamaliza na three days alafu ya kwanza hii ingine nikamaliza na one day ikafika mpaka nafanya na hours juu nilikuwa nimshazoea ni kitu nilishajiwekea kwa mind the good thing about it ni kwa sababu nilikuwa nikimaliza napewa pesa na nikipewa hiyo pesa ndio naenda na nunua food na kuja nayo home that means hatulali nja hatushindi nja so ilikuwa good thing kwangu but unfortunately you know kulima inakuwa na season kuna time inafikanga si season ya kulima so ikaisha so one time 
njuni ilikuwa natafuta kazi nikaenda nikaambia nikaenda nikapata one one msichana mmoja hivi alikuwa anafanya uh, job place yenye nilikuwa nafanya ya kwanza nikiwa 12 years so nikamwambia uh, nikaenda kutembea huko kumsal hata siko anamjua Nili, akilitua yangu ilinitua tu kwa nyumba ikaniambia enda usalimie fulani nikaenda tu kumsalimia nikamkuta na na msichana mwingine hapo wako pamoja nikawasalimia nikamwambia mimi naitwa fulani akili tu imeniambia nikuje niwasalimie and then hapo hivyo vile nikakuta nikamwambia akisimkisikia mahali kuna job muniambie and then huyu msichana akaniuliza mwenye walikuwa na huyu sasa mwenye nilikuwa nimeenda kusalimia akaniuliza unatafuta kazi ya nini nikamwambia anything Yani job yoyote bora ni enye ina, ina nipea something so that family wa kule. So hiyo Saturday tukaachana tu vizuri. So on Sunday mimi nikashika shughuli zangu tu bado kwenda kutafuta vibaro. But nikakuja home nikakuta mama akaniambia ati kuna msichana fulani alikuwa hapa amesema mkutane kwa gate. Alipokuja akaniambia tutaenda na yeye place yenye anafanya kazi kwa sababu huyo mama alikuwa anatafuta mlo wa kufungo. So nikaenda and the, the more ninaenda na yeye ni more ninaenda hii nyumba ninaijua so but si kuongea na si kumwambia anything that ninaijua and then nik, nikaingia kwa hiyo nyumba akaniambia usimame hapa tungoje mwenye mwenye nini akuje mwenye nyumba akuje ndio akwambie please yenye unafaa kufanyia kazi so mimi nikakaa hapo nikasimama for uh, few minutes and then mwenyewe akakuja mwenyewe akakuja the first thing alikuwa ni wewe unatafuta una kazi hapa ni kwa zile za eh ni mimi ninatafuta kaniambia na mmengojea nini mmengojea ni kuambia ni kazi gani una, unafanya na you are wewe unajua ni kazi gani inafaa kufanyika huko yeye yeah, yeah, sio mwenye alikuwa ameniandika wa kwanza lakini ni family member wa mwenye alikuwa ameniandika wa kwanza i think wanaitana cousins ama aunties i don't know lakini ni same families lakini wakati nilikuwa nafanya kazi kwa huyo wa kwanza hata huyu alikuwa so ananijua so aka ndio aka saa nikapewa kazi hapo ikaanza ya kufua i think three days per week ikaenda ikaenda four days per week ikafika one week so nikaanza kufanya hapo and kwa hiyo the same same family kwa sababu ni watu wengi wanakaa kwa compound moja wa familia so nikachukuliwa nikapelekwa kwa family moja mimi ndio nilianza kujitafutia kazi huko kwa kwa hii family jo nilikuwa naenda na four one day hivyo nikaenda hapo akiwa i think pregnant alikuwa pregnant and then nikakaa na for five years i think five years akapata the first born tukaka akapata second born tukaka and then just one day sijui ni nini ni happen juu hiyo kazi ilikuwa ya kwenda asubuhi saa mbili unatokea five so this day nilitoka nikaenda job kawaida tu lakini alikuwa au ayuko sijui nilikuwa na, nafanya na yeye kazi so nilikuwa namjua wakati yako happy wakati but these days kuna kitu tu haikuwa ina ina, ina work na yeye sijui ni nini alikuwa sijui so lunch time akaniita akaniambia ati amefikiria mm. a uh, Jutuko wawili mimi nilikuwa nafanya kazi ya kuangalia watoto na nilikuwa nafanya kazi yote kwa nyumba lakini katikati akaniambia because nimekaa naye sana nafaa kuangalia watoto tu nitafute mtu mwenye atakuwa ki akikuja anafanya kazi zingine mimi nabaki na watoto but this day sijui ni nini ile happen akakaa tu akaniambia oh sijui tumekaa chini tume discuss eh, tubaki na mtu mmoja na huyu mtu mmoja mwenye tunalaki naye tumechoose fulani so wakachoose huyo mwingine mwenye nilikuwa nimeleta and wakati alikuwa ananiambia wamemchoose mimi ninataka sana kujua nikitoka mahali ni nini nimefanya so that nikienda place nyingine nisirudie the same mistakes so nikamuuliza ni nini nimefanya enye inaweza tuma ni kuwe nime nime lose job akasema hakuna nikajaribu kumuuliza akaniambia tu akona and because of that i was bitter nilitoka tu nikamwambia tu sawa ukipata mahali pengine pako na kazi uniambie so nikaenda home 
and I was so angry nilikuwa nimekasirika na nikasema hii kazi ninajitolea for nifanye nini nikifanya huwa ninajitoleanga for ndio ukae na mtu for 5 years mtu apate mtoto hadi umemlea ume, ume you know na nilikuwa natoka kwake sometimes ninafanya kwa, kwa family members wengine hivyo yani nilikuwa na, nafanya huko natoka na kuja huku hivi lakini kwa family members so nikiwa home nikapigia sister yangu alikuwa anakaa gedhorai nikamwambia nataka kukuja na Robi hiyo ndio ilikuwa the first time yangu kufika na Robi kaambia nataka kukuja na Robi na mimi sitaki kuandikwa kazi ya nyumba tena nimechoka nimechoka siwezi fanyia mtu kazi hivi and then mtu akuvuta tu for no reason akukunaga kitu kama hiyo so sister yangu akaniambia wewe kuja tutafuta kitu yenye tutafanya so nikakuja nikakaa na sister yangu for I think two months tukitafuta job nyingine apart from job ya nyumba and ilikuwa ngumu sana because tulitafuta day and night hata kupata job nyingine so eh and at that time, sisters zangu wote walikuwa wanajua sina kazi. Na walikuwa wanajua mimi sikaagi bila kazi. So huyo walikuwa wanajua. So one day nilikuwa ninapigiwa tu simu na watu wananiambia ati yo tumepatiwa contacts zako sijui na nani hivyo. Unataka kazi na kwa sababu siku anataka kazi ya nyumba nilikuwa naambia hapana. Na walikuwa wananiambia tutakulipa 6000, tutakulipa sijui how much sija hivyo. Mimi naambia hapana until one day my now boss akapiga simu ena akasema anakuanga straight forward alipiga tu simu akasema mimi naitwa fulani wa fulani nimepewa nime namba zako na friend siju ya sister yako and uh, wakasema unataka kazi hii ndio kazi kuna mtoto na na, na pesa ni unataka ama utaki so, <laughs> so i was like um ninataka and at that time siko anatafuta kazi ya nyumba siko anatafuta kazi ya nyumba so nimekata nime tu simu hivi nikaambia sister yangu nimepata kazi ya nyumba na pesa ni and then my sister alikuwa zile za umekata hizi kazi zingine ukuja umeiti umekuja kuchukua hii na pesa kidogo sijui na nini Niko zile za hata sijui ni kwa nini nimesema hii lakini kwa sababu nimesema hii nitaenda lakini si itaka mimi kwanza sitaki kazi ya nyumba and sitaki hizi story <laughs> so nikakubali nika and akakuja na aka tuka, kwanza tulimit before before ni kuje huko tulimit na ye tuka meet akanipea vile yeye anatakanga mimi vile ninatakanga vitu kama hizo tukaenda Na nakumbuka nilipofika kwa nyumba kitu ya kwanza ilikuwa zile za mimi hata sikai nakaa 2 3 months ulimwambia <laughs> yeah nilimwambia lakini ya, i think aku, alikuwa busy enough that hakusikia hiyo yenye nilisema <laughs> kwa sababu ninamwambia anasema akumbuki nikimwambia hivyo sasa this is what happened wakati niliingia kwa nyumba nilipata kuna mtoto Na vile niliingia kwa mlango tu hivi. Nilipata huyo mtoto ali, ali niangalia tu hivi. akasimama kwanza kuniangalia. Ka, few seconds. And then haka inuwa mikona yake hivi juu ni mchukue. Na nilikuwa mgeni hata sijaka chini. So sinika mchukue hivi nika mwekelea hapa. Uwe. Ali nishika hapa kwa shingo. And tulishinda hivyo the whole day. Ami nishika kwa shingo the whole day so ilikuwa kwanza kumweka chini ndio ilikuwa shida juu hakuwa anataka kuwekwa chini so hiyo siku yote hata sikufanya anything the whole day yenye nilifika juu nilifika saa 2 ya asubuhi sikufanya anything tukakaa hiyo uh, siku and then sasa kwa sababu eh, ni siku ya kwanza nimeingia lazima kona hiyo kitu ya ku, ku, kutaka kujua kuni kunifuata fuata so the next day ilikuwa is, nilikuja saturday next uh, day ilikuwa sunday nikaenda nika, nikasema mimi naenda ka church so nikapelekwa akanipeleka please na hapo hivyo kasalani hivi nitafute church yenye mimi nina 
ninaendaga nika akani drop ari ni drop yeye mwenyewe akanifikisha huko na akaniambia ukitaka kurudi hivi ndio utarudi so nikarudi and sasa monday ni siku ya kwenda kwa yeye kwenda job sasa mimi kubaki na mtoto and it was it was mimi wacha niseme tu day 1 niliingia kwa hiyo nyumba connection yangu na, na mtoto ilikuwa immediately like ilikuwa ilikuwa na impact yani hatukuwa tunaachana tulikuwa tu hivyo so one thing about my boss enye hajawahi shindanilia nayo ni umefanya kazi aji nyumba ni safi sijui nini vitu kama hizo yeye alikuwa na haja na mtoto wangu ameshinda aji na sasa kwa sababu mimi na mtoto tulikuwa tumesikizana sana bora tu ye akuja akute mtoto ana smile mtoto wa vitu kama hizo ye hako ana shughuli zingine so ilifika ni mimi na mtoto mimi na mtoto si mimi na kazi ni mimi na mtoto and to be honest sijui ni nini ili change after three months ziliisha because i think nilipoingia hapa kuna vitu kadhaa nilipata number one, kwa previous job zenye nilikuwa nafanya ni ufanye kazi yako umalize kama ni kukula unakulia jikoni hakuna story kama za kuona tv hakuna vitu kama hizo hakuna so kwa hii job hakukua story za kukulia jikoni sijui unakulia bedroom ama unafanya nini ukimaliza kazi yako unafaa kukua kwa sitting room na wengine kama ni kukula nyenye wote mnakula kwa dining pamoja so kwangu kwangu ilikuwa a new thing enye sijai experience enye vitu kama hizo si yani sikuwa nimeona vitu kama hizo another thing ni chakula kwa previous jobs zenye nilikuwa nafanya kulikuwa na limitation ya food enough that aunge kula matunda aunge kula sijui kunywe juice sijui ufikirie tu enda utengeneza cup of tea ukunywe hakuna vitu kama hizo so ilikuwa inanibidi kwa hizo previous job ukitaka matunda unakaa unajiambia mimi nitaiba kwa sababu ninasikia e, ninasikia ninaitaka unajua vile watoto wanaambia kwa ukikatazo ile kitu hiyo ndio unataka hivyo so hivyo ndio ilikuwa and then vile nilikuja kwa hii house kila kitu ilikuwa hapo and then unaambiwa ndio hizo i mean kula I mean, kila kitu iko hapo kenye unataka kukula iko hapo kitu ikiletwa sijui ni ya mtoto mimi na mtoto tuko hapo because hivyo <laughs> yani ndio to make room so so uh, after three months hata sikujua three months ikisha nilikuja ku realize three months ziliisha i think after a year and something sikujua because i was comfortable nilikuwa tu poa ninatritiwa vile ninataka nina i mean zile ile kitu yenye nikiwa mtoto vile nilikuwa nataka kutritiwa sasa ndio nimeanza kutritiwa vile nilikuwa nataka kutritiwa na tu, vitu zote tuli agree sunday ni church ikifika 6:30 uko kwa nyumba so it may happen if enough that 6:30 ikifika na niko nje i text mwambia bado niko njiani ninakuja niko kwa gari so, kwa sababu saa yangu yenye ni kwa suppose kukua kwa nyumba imefika na sijafika so huwa na mtext na mwambia saa yangu ya kufika kwa nyumba na mwambia niko kwa njia ninakuja hata kama ni home nilikuwa nimeenda na nina kuja ifike hiyo masana bado sijafika nina mtext na mwambia bado niko njiani ninakuja so ninatakanga zile vitu zenye tuliongea wakati nilikuja zisikuwe za ati nina, ninaanza kuzichezea ama something vitu kama hizo so what happen is amekuwa tumekuwa na ye hii mwaka sasa ni ya 12 years kukaa na ye kwa nyumba moja which is a good experience kwa sababu nilipokuja hapa my first born alikuwa class 3 nilipokuja hapa and as we speaking ako campus 
So, I have niko na watoto wawili, niko na mwenyako campus na niko na mwenyako form 3. And because watoto wangu alikuwa shule ya kulipa, alikuwa ananisaidia za every time ikifika. Kuna pe pesa, watoto wanarudi shule, kuna pesa alikuwa ananipiatia. Ananiambia shika hii pesa, unaongezea na enye ukonayo, unalipa shule. Na alinifanya hivyo hadi shule, uh, uh, daughter akamaliza shule. And kwangu, imekuwa ni raisi. Acha tu niseme tu. Yani kwangu imekuwa ni raisi sana. Because hata alipoingia high school ukweli nilikuwa nilikuwa na msomesha na pesa ya boss wangu <laughs> nilikuwa na na na, 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 na kuja na mwambia sasa mtoto anaenda shule na hitaji kiasi ya pesa na sina so can we ana ananipatia and then sasa tuna plan vile hiyo pesa italipwa so alikuwa ananipatia Unapata, sometimes anipatia 30,000, 40,000, and then tuna agree. Every end of month, utatikuiki, nipatia, unachukua 1K kwa mshahara yangu, ama 2K, because badu lazima ni kwa na mahitaji na nini, so na hitaji pesa. And tulifanya hivyo, hadi the first pona kamaliza high school. Ikafika wakati wakuingia campus, na wakati wakuingia campus, siku kuwa na pesa. Ata kidogo. So, Nilikuwa na stress kwanza, nilikuwa na stress kwa sababu mtoto lazima waingia campus, vitu kama hizo, na siku wanajua na yeye ya kuna plans zake, vitu kama hizo. So, one day, akaniambia, eh, anataka kunipeleka dinner somewhere. Tukaenda, kanunuliwa dinner, tukakula, then akan surprise, akaniambia, anataka kuselebrate hizo times zenye tumikuwa na yeye. And nikapatua bahasha. And bahasha nilikuwa na, nayo, ilikuwa na 100k 100k hata siku amini yani siku amini because i didn't have money mtoto ana hitaji kwenda shule niko na mwingine ako high school niko na, i mean si hata ilikuwa ilikuwa the, the the happiest day kwa life yangu mtu kuchukua Bahasha moja hivi amekuwekea a hundred k. It's not a see see easy thing. See easy. Ata kama muna skizana na mtu aji. Ningumu mtu akupe pesa for free. Just for free hivi tu. Na na kuripaga salary. Haiko included kwa salary yako. Ivo ndi ndiyeza kupeleka mtoto shule. Ivo ndi. Ah iye iko amishara. Yeye ilikuwa ilikuwa tu kupewa. Nimepewa. Haikukuwa mshahara. Salary yangu nilikuwa nimepewa sijui how many days ago. And then sasa hii time amenipeleka tuka tumekula lunch dinner hivi and then bahasha. Niko na 100k. Hata siku, hata siku weza kuexplain the feelings. In fact, hata si, I, I think I only said thank you. Because you know when something big iki kwa hapenia, unakuwa confused, unakuanga aujui au, 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 uanze wapi, umadize wapi, aujui kuexpress the, the, the joy in you. Ujui ilikuwa a happiest moment for me that nikona iyo pesa mtoto wangu anaweza enda shule sasa hivyo ndio mtoto alienda shule mtoto anasomea nini shule anasomea projects planning and management ako jkwat na sasa ako second year and uh, since that day wacha tu niseme since that day hadi saa hizi sijai lack ati niseme u uh, sasa mtoto wana school fees u uh, si, nimeshindwa kumlipia nyumba vitu kama hizo Sija, sijai lack uh, kuna ki, kitu kimoja nilikuwa nilikuja kujua na 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 boss wangu tukiwa wawili sisi wote wawili kila mtu hakuna kama mtu perfect sisi wote kila mtu anakuwa na errors zake mimi niko na weakness yangu yeye ako na weakness zake but kitu important hapa ni ku understand 
ameni understand ame 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 amejua that as much as niko kazi mimi niko wa maana kwake kama vile yeye ni wa maana kwangu kwa sababu kweli nikuwa sisi wote ni wa maana kwa kila maisha ya mtu ninamsaidia yeye ananisaidia so previous jobs zenye nilikuwa nafanya ningefanya makosa nilikuwa najua the only way ya kuongea na mtu ni kumpigia kelele kwa sababu hiyo ndio nilikuwa nafanywa nilikuwa napigiwa kelele naitwa kwanza kuna jobs mpaka nilikuwa nafanya naitwa majina yenye ina zote zenye zina exist kwa this world but vile nilikuja hapa nikalan there is another way ya kuongea so this is what she does <laughs> kama anataka anajua nimefanya makosa na anataka kuniambia hiyo ni makosa nimefanya so anangoja nimalize Kenya nimemaliza ninamaliza alafu anakuuliza umemaliza Kenya ulikuwa nafanya anamwambia anakuambia kuja ananiambia kaa hapo chini tunakaa chini so ananiambia so unaona nilikuwa nataka kukuambia place hii na hii na hii mimi imagine sikufurahia vile inafanywa mimi natakaka vitu ziende hivi lakini wewe ukifanya unafanya hivyo vingine nataka uniambie aje wewe unaona aje nina make sense i mean ananiuliza <laughs> nina make sense ama ni, ni, mimi tu ninaona vitu kama hizo and then so mimi aya, nina kuanga wale watu nikiambiwa nimekosea ukweli nilikuwa nimekosea so the answer ya kukosea ni ku apologize so mimi ninasema pole kitu kama hiyo haita aita happen and things tumeka for 12 years hiyo ndio life tumekuwa tumeka mimi nikikuwa na shida yeye ndiye anakuwa number one. kujua junior ninaambia na in fact ninakuwa nikijua ikifika ni pesa hakuna mtu mwingine anaweza nisaidia na pesa yeye ndiye anaweza nisaidia na pesa because ninajuanga awezi ninyima pesa niki kama ako nayo na, na ninahitaji pesa hiyo ninakuwa nikijua nikimuuliza atanipea ikifika ni place ninataka kwenda the only thing nahitaji kusema ni kusema mapema before hiyo siku yenye ninataka kwenda ifike namwambia kama one week before ama two weeks before so that kama yeye alikuwa na plan ya kwenda mahali hizo siku zenye na plan kwenda yeye ajue vile atafanya another thing ni ku understand ni me understand that sio kila kitu lazima you work out my way just because nilikuwa na plan eh, Sunday ninataka kwenda church and then something happened katikati ikue yeye yeah, ataenda na ni lazima kwa nyumba kukuwe na mtu ati ni lazima mimi niende Sunday church it's not a must in kwangu mimi nasemaga kwangu because that hiyo ndio way tumekuwa tukiwaka kama anaenda place eh, on Sunday ama Saturday na kwa hivyo Sunday hatakuwa Ninakuwa nikijua ka, Sunday ni may cancel kwa sababu lazima nikae kwa nyumba na mtoto na yeye kwa sababu hayuko. Haijalishi ni wapi nilikuwa nataka kwenda. As long as amepata eh, something ya kazi kufanya maybe kutumwa job because sometimes huwa anaenda anatuacha kwa nyumba for like a week, two weeks na mtoto for that two weeks ijadishi ni nini ita happen hapa katikati huwa ni nimejiwekea kwa kichwa niko job na bosa yuko na siwezi anza kupangua mipango already na o, tusha ongea hii kitu na imesha imeshaisha unaona so nimi mu understand ameni understand na hivyo ndio tumekuwa tumekika wow for 12 years na mtoto bado mnapendana sana. Ah, huyo ni best. Mtoto wako ni mrefu sasa. Siza kona 13. Na wewe ndio umemlea. Eh, mimi ndio nimemlea. Wonderful. Amekuwa ako na 13. Ni friend yangu sana. Friend yangu sana 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 sana. Nilikuwa na shida ya macho for so long. Hata before ni kuja hapa kwa nyumba. Nilikuwa tu na shida ya macho. I can't nikiwa kwa jua siwezi fungua macho. I mean nione ilikuwa inanibidi. Yaani nilikuwa na shida. Kama ni kuona TV lazima nikunje macho. And kila siku alikuwa ananiambianga, "Wewe unahitaji kwenda kuona daktari." Kila time, "Unahitaji kuona." Lakini siku moja tu aliamka akasema, "Tunaenda eh, kutengenezwa macho, tunaenda Lions." 
So mimi huyo asubuhi akani akaniambia ni kesho. Tukamka asubuhi nika alikuwa anaenda job. Alinichukua akanipeleka hadi hosi, akaniacha huko hosi. Akaniambia su process unajua inaanza huko. Process yote uende process yote. After all that niambie ni pesa ngapi? So hivyo ndio nilifiwa macho nikaenda nikapimwa kila kitu and then nikapewa glasses nikampigia simu nikamwambia ni pesa fulani and then akanitumia kwa mpesa kaniambia ndio hizo pesa lipa OC and see 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 macho peke yake mimi nikiwa mgonjwa ni yeye huwa analipa OC yeye ndio huwa ananilipia pesa za kwenda OC so ninatokanga hata kuna wakati hakukua alikuwa ameenda kazi i think Mombasa and nikakuwa msik kabisa na mtoto alikuwa shule nikatoka nikampigia simu nikamwambia i'm not feeling well akaniambia niende hospitali nikaenda nikafanywa check up na nini kila kitu and then nikampigia nikamwambia wamesema ni shida na hii akatuma pesa so i mean mimi kwangu ninakuanga ni kama niko home ninakuanga I'm, I'm comfortable. Watu wengine wananiambia nakaa kwa comfort zone. <laughs> Lakini kweli nilikuwa she's a she's a good person so eh, nina feeling comfortable. Eh, niko comfortable kwa sababu mimi sijui by the way mimi kuna vitu siwezi kuambia bei yake ni nini kwa sababu yeye ndio hununua. Vitu kama slippers sijai nunua, towel sijai nunua, pads sijai nunua, lotion sijai nunua. Hizi vitu zote Siwezi hata kukuambia zinatokaa pesa ngapi. Yeye yeah, ndio huwa ananunua. So, I mean mimi niko home. Ninafika. Mimi ninakuanga tu nimefika. Hadi saa zingine mimi ni peke yangu nikikaa hivi ninajiambia tanakaanga tu ni kama sita hii enda hapo. Ga tu niko home tu nimetosheka tu sina plani nyingine. Niko kaa tu. But you know it happens sa zile umepata mtu mwenye spirit yenu ina, ina, inaendana Ana, anaelewa kuna life hard anaelewa hizi mambo zote kwa sababu mimi namwambia kazi zile vitu zote zenye nimepitia so anaelewa it's not as if ni, ni mtu mwenye ninaambia alafu understand nini hiyo ninasema anajua ni nini hiyo ninasema another thing about hapa hapa kwa nyumba Nikifanya kazi yangu yeye anakwanga amenipea ruhusa nifanye something else. Nikisha maliza job yangu niko free kufanya kitu kingine. So mimi hushona. Mimi hushona ponchos, sweaters. Mimi hushona hizo vitu and then ninauza. Na ninashonanga hata ako hapa anajua yeye ndiye alikuwa customer wangu wa kwanza. Nini mshane? <laughs> wa kwanza. Eh. <laughs> Alafu sasa family members wengine sasa wakakuja waka, wakanunua. So anakuanga me as long as nimefanya kazi yangu yote niko allowed kufanya kitu kingine job kingine kama saa hizi amenipea ruhusa nikimaliza ninaenda kuuza majani. Ya yeah, ninauza kama majani. Na ananga hizo I mean usiume umeshamaliza kazi yako kama umemaliza kazi yako na mtoto wetu amekuwa mkubwa so uh, yeah and then ninafurahia kwa sababu anakuanga amenipea kwa amenipea ruhusa ya uh, ninaezaambia mtoto uh, uh, she's not a baby right now ni, ni, ni a big girl right now ninamwambiaga uh, nikimwambia usifanye hii huwa nani back kuna kuanga na unaona ile ya nikikwambia hebu enda uwashe vyombo and then atia kuja kwambia hebu toka hapo hiyo ni kazi ya anti a a ya ataenda kwamba si nimetaka kusikia umeambiwa na anti uende ukawashe vyombo so uh, anakuanga nikisema hivi huwa ana back kenye nimesema unaona kama sasa tumemfundisha enough that sasa zile ha, hako shule yeye ndio huosha vyombo za asubuhi Sa zile hako shule, ye ndio huosha room yake. Sa zile hako shule, ye ndio hufuwa nguo zake. Mimi huwa sefanyi hizo kazi, akiwa, 
amefunga shule hizo ni kazi zake i can only do that job sa zile yako shule kwa sababu hataweza kufanya hizo kazi na afanye ya shule lakini wakati mimi ninakwanga nimepewa ruhusa naweza mwambia usifanye hivi na yeye akue hapo aseme usifanye hivyo vile auntie amesema so ninakwanga nimeshukuru kwa sababu hakuangi wale watu wa kuonyesha watoto huyu ni, ni mfanyakazi so anafaa kutritiwa the unaona yo anakwanga amemwambia this is your second mother nikiwa siko yeye ndiye wako na Kenya anasema hiyo ndio inafaa kufanyika Unaona? So kwangu 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 hiyo kitu inakuanga ya maana sana. Kunipe hiyo chance ya kulea. Kunipe hiyo chance ya kukua mama kwa huyu mtoto. Kwa kwa yani inakuanga kwangu inakuanga niona. Yeah. Well, apart from kupeleka watoto shule, uh, my mom ndiye alikuwa ananiangalia watoto wakati nimekuja hapa because sikukuja na watoto nilimwacha na watoto so and at that time babangu alikuwa ameisha pass so nikikuja hapa ni mama yangu tu alikuwa na alikuwa na, na watoto wangu so ilikuwa every end of month lazima mimi nijue Kenya watakula na of course nikijua Kenya watoto watakula mama yangu ako kwa 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 hiyo plan ya watakula nini vitu kama hizo so and nimefanya hivyo for until now bado ninaifanya and mamangu anaka kazi hata saa hizi na watoto wangu wameshatoka nyumbani because sasa daughter ako campus sana ako boarding na mamangu tu ndio ako home so ni lazima nijue mamangu atakula nini ni lazima nijue bills zinalipo aje kwa sababu ana stima, ana maji, ana vitu kama hizo, anataka kufill gas, anataka vitu kama hizo. Lazima every end of month lazima nijue vitu kama hizo zina happen aje. Uh, ametoka kujenga nyumba for uh, last year ndio aliingia hiyo nyumba. Nimechangia kwa hiyo nyumba kujenga, kumwaga mchanga, kununua cement nime nime nimechangia so si si kulea watoto tu i mean even my mom namuitaga mtoto wangu <laughs> wanasema ni mtoto wangu because nikihesabu watoto wangu wawili huwa yeye namuhesabu ndani so nasema ni kuna watoto watatu mm, yeye yeah, anakuwa kwa plan yangu yeah and what are your future plans my future plans inakuanga ile day nitatoka hapa because i know i cannot siwezi kuwa hapa for like forever kuna siku itafika itaf, nitoke by the time ifike mimi ni kutoka ni kuwa ni receive at least something small because one thing na kuanga 100% sure ni ile siku nitatoka hapa sitaiandikwa tena because kwa kichwa yangu ninakuwa nikijua hakuna mtu atai ni treat the way huwa ninatitiwa hapa na kwa sababu already nimeshakaa kwa hii life ya kutritiwa hivi siwezi taka kutritiwa nje nyingine tena ninatakanga tu hivi so kama nitatoka hapa ile siku nitatoka hapa nitaenda ni make business yangu ya kuuza maybe kutengeneza maybe kuweka grocery and then life it, it continue Wonderful. yeah Well, um, I can't thank her enough because ni vitu mob, ni vitu mob amenifanyia zenye hata siezi start nianze ku count one, two, ni vitu mingi amenifanyia. So, the only thing enye mimi neza muambia ni kuwa, God bless you so much kwa kuni treat me like your own sister because watu wakikuja hapa anawaambia this is my sister so nataka kumwambia asante sana na moyo wenye anakuanga nao asibadilike aishi tu hivi and through that many things many good things will come her way kwa kukua mkind kwa ananilipa na ukindness 
yeye ni ni patient na mimi because wacha nikwambie eh anakuwa very patient na mimi ninajua anga hivyo yeah, maybe yeye yeah, ajui lakini mimi ninajua anakuwa anga patient na mimi <laughs> me anakuwa anga patient na mimi because kuna saa zingine kuna time tu ninamkanga tu na zile tu moods za akili usijisikie na anything and nafanya kazi vile nataka and then kuna kitu kingine yeye huwa ananifanyia nataka kum, kum kumwambia thank you for for that eh? hakuangi wale watu wa kwa nini leo haukufanya hii kwa nini leo haukufanya achindagi akiniuliza ya najua tu nikiamka ninajua kwenye nitaanza na ninajua kwenye nitamaliza ye yeah, hiyo sije kuagi business yake ya yeah, najua kazi yako ni yako and ye yeah, i mean treat wacha tu niseme thank you thank you thank you so much for treating me this way with kindness na roho safi na kupenda watoto wangu pia because my daughter sometimes anakujaga hapa slipova and yeah and and i'm treating kama mtoto wake i mean had sijaiona akimfanyia madharau saa zingine tu, tunaendaka na ye home tunatoka hivi ananipeleka home anafanyia madhe shopping mm-hmm. eh tumeenda na yeye mara kadhaa sasa home na anapelekea madhe shopping and she's a good woman ni 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 ni, ni, ni mpua sana ako na roho safi ako na roho ya utu ananielewa ana na most of time <laughs> tukikaa na yeye ananiambia aje tukipiga saa zile tunapiga story tunakuanga tunakuwa free so tunapiga story saa zile tunapiga story utasikia akikwambia aje mimi ninakuombea unaona ninakuombea kama Mungu ile siku utatoka hapa <laughs> utakuwa mtu successful Mungu atakupeleka fa and then ikifika hapo that's when unaona mtu anakutakianga mema unajua kuna wale watu akikutukana akikwambianga we hata uwezi enda mahali najua but she's a good person enough that anakuambianga anakuambianga Mungu ile siku utatoka utakuwa utakuwa fa unaona and i'm grateful very very grateful so god bless you for me and what advice would you like to give other employers wa sasa hiyo nitasema amwezi Amwezi kanisha kama hamuelewani kama bila understanding kwa kwa nini huyo mtu wako hapo one lazima boss ajue ni nini anataka kuna vitu viwili wakati uko na mtoto ama uko na watoto hauwezi tafuta msichana wa kazi mtu anatafuta kama mtu anawa kumlelea mtoto because ukitafuta mtu wa kazi atakuja kufanya kazi lakini watoto wako wataumia kwa hiyo tu process kama ukifika kwa nyumba the first thing unakuanga nayo ni kuangalia nyumba yako ni safi nyumba yako iko is it sparkle ina ina shine akili yangu kama mimi mfanyakazi wako nitakujua weakness yako ni nini ni nyumba na kama ni nyumba nitakuwa nikimake sure nyumba yako imengara lakini watoto nao kwa sababu watoto unawapea lazima uwapatie time watoto lazima uwapatie time na mimi na wewe tunajua vizuri sana ati kuna time enye mtoto anaamua kutoka, kutoka asubuhi tu nitakusumbua tu kutoka asubuhi si kwa sababu ati nini lakini mtoto atakusumbua kutoka asubuhi for nothing tu ashinde tu akilia ashinde anataka hii nataka ile so imagine hiyo siku wewe kama boss una expect ukuje upate nyumba yako ni safi na yet unataka ni kuwe bado there kwa huyo mtoto haiwezi happen it's either kuna mmoja anaumia ni ni ni, ni, ni concentrate na mtoto and then hiyo siku nyumba itakuwa safi ama ningarisha nyumba lakini hiyo siku mtoto wako atashinda akile the whole day sitampea time so kama wewe ni ni ni, ni boss na unatafuta msichana jua nini unatafuta unatafuta mtu wa kazi ama unatafuta mtu wa watoto kwa sababu ukitafuta mtu wa mtoto like kama mimi boss wangu alishanionyesha kutoka day one yeye alikuwa anataka mtu wa kuangalia mtoto na 
yeye hako anashugurika sana na huko kwingine as much as mimi nilikuwa na, na hata saa hizi ninasemanga i mimi si ule mtu ati mimi ni wale watu the cleanest mimi ati ni clean sana a a lakini one thing ninajuaga ikifika pati ya mtoto we are okay niko good na tuko okay so kama una 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 unatafuta mtu jua ni nini unataka mtu wa kukulelea watoto ama mtu wa kukufanyia kazi unaona because zote zinahitajika na lakini ukweli nilikuwa nikikuangalia mtoto hata kazi yako nitafanya kwa sababu nikiangalia watoto bado ni mimi nitapika nikiangalia watoto bado ni mimi nitaosha nyumba nikiangalia mtoto lakini ukweli nilikuwa saidia watoto ndio niko sana mtoto wako happy mtoto amekula mtoto amengara kuna bond between mimi na mtoto kama wewe unatafuta kazi lazima ujue ni nini unataka uwezi enda tu ufanya kazi kwa sababu watu wanafanya kazi lazima wewe mwenyewe ujue ni nini nilikutoa home ndio ukakuja ufanye kazi because mimi nikikuja nilikuwa najua nataka kupea watoto wangu life enye si kuwaipewa ilikuwa kwangu kuvaa nguo ilikuwa ni ngumu sasa hizi watoto wangu wanavaa vile wanataka kwangu kukula ilikuwa ni ngumu mimi hu provide kwa watoto wangu vile wanataka shule mimi si kuenda sasa hizi ndio huyo mkubwa kwa campus ninakuwa nilijua kutoka day one ni nini ninataka na kenye nilikuwa nataka ni ku make watoto wangu tofauti na na mimi Unaona? So kama wewe unatafuta kazi na umekuja kufanya kazi, acha kushinda ukisema ati yu msichana fulani aliniambia ati kwao wanafanya hapo, amko kwa nyumba moja. Ati yu ninafaa kutitiwa sio, amko kwa nyumba moja, fanya kazi. Hata huko kwenye nilikuwa nafanya kazi na, na madharau na nini? Nilikuwa ninakaa. Nilikuwa ninakaa. Hata nikikaa ni ninajua tu ni nini imenileta hapa leo. Kwa nini niko hapa? Kwa nini natiritiwa hivi? Ni kwa sababu ninataka kazi. Na ni kwa sababu nataka kukula, ni kwa sababu nataka mama kule, ni kwa sababu nataka hizo zote. Unaona? La ile siku utajua ni nini nimekuleta hapo. Hiyo siku ndio itakuwa njema kwako. Another thing, sana sana mimi nataka kuongelelea wasichana. Ile siku utakubali kazi yako ni kazi kama zingine. Hiyo siku ndio utakuwa mtu wa maana. Kwa sababu hakuna tofauti na mwenye anaenda kwa ofisi na mwenye anafanya kwa nyumba. Mimi huambia rafiki zangu, ofisi yangu inakuwa ha kwa nyumba. Cuz I believe this is my office. Hii ndio inanilipia bills zangu. So kwa nini siku ya ofisi yangu? Inakuwa ha ofisi yangu. Na mimi siku wangu na, na haya kuambia mtu ati mimi na kuanga house help. No, in fact watu wengi nikawaambia mimi nakwanga house help wana kwanga hiyo ni uongo na mimi nawaambia yes ni kweli hapo ndio ofisi yangu inakuanga hapo ndio ninafanya nina, ninapata school fees hapo ndio napata chakula hapo ndio napata mavazi so hiyo ni ofisi yangu ile siku wewe msichana utakubali that kazi yako ni ya maana kama kazi zingine imagine utaisha vizuri sana utaishi vizuri sana kabisa Ruth came to my home at a time when I had had a very bad experience with the house help um, because of the nature of my work I travel I used to travel a lot and um, the girl who was with with me before her I came later came to lunch she used to mistreat the child and lock the, the house and leave the child indoors and I really prayed for uh, someone who could at least I wanted someone to take care of the child, not really the house, but the child, because the child will grow up and the house, house chores will, can wait. I mean, they are not really urgent. If it's washing the house, the house can be washed at night. If it's washing the dishes, ah, we can wash them later. But the child growing up, bonding, I don't think it's a time we can ever get. So when Ruth came, and I, hear her, I have heard her tell these jokes many times. She told me she'll be here for three months. I never had it. <laughs> Honestly, I never had it. Um, but here we are, nearly 13 years now. And uh, she always keeps reminding me, 
nilisema nitaka hapa 3 months and she still here so it's a blessing she's a nice person first of all she first of all she's a she's a really really nice person and then the bond she established with my child i think that was um first of all that one hit home um my family loves her everyone who comes into contact with her my friends everyone who visits everyone likes um everyone likes ruth she's a nice person she she knows what she wants but above everything she's god fearing um, those are the kind of values I want instilled in my child. Of course we fight, we fight, we, we have our ups and our downs. But right now the, 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 the highs are more, the highs are more and we learn every day, we, we, we are here and we thank God. What is your encouragement to other employers who have such difficulties, either keeping girls or getting good girls? What would you advise other employers? I think first of all we need to recognize that um, house helps, nannies, they are a very important part of our lives. And you're living, your, this house help or your nanny, you're leaving them with your biggest resource, your child. I don't think there's anything greater to a woman than a child. So if you treat them the way you would want yourself to be treated, especially a person who's taking care of your child, be understanding to them that they are also human beings. They are also having their own struggles. They have um, issues they are also going with. And I think this is what many people lack, that empathy, being able to connect with this person, knowing where they are coming from, their background. Ruth always tells me the, the things she's gone through. She tells me very, very basic things that we all, always take for granted. I remember one thing she told me, um, she, she has never eaten a sausage. You know, some very, very basic thing that we take for granted. So she'd come to my house and you give her something to eat and she's wondering, Nikule, Nikule, hey, you can tell where she's coming from. That lack of empathy, you know. So if we understand some of these things, that they are also part of a system they have, people who are depending on them, they have parents, they have children. Just as you have parents, you have children, I think it becomes very easy to work with them. And if you don't want, if you don't like anything, tell them. If you have noticed there's something that she's done and you don't like it, just tell them. They'll hear and they'll internalize it. And it becomes better to deal with it. Other than insults and all these things and chasing people at night and all those funny things I, I hear. I think it's it, it all boils down to you as a person. There are some values that we need to instill in us. And even, even as they are bringing up our children, we let them know that these are also human beings and they are adults. And they are what we call um, assistant parents, you know. So let them also be, be respected. Instill these values in your children to respect them. To respect them, to love them, to listen to them. And that way, the child grows up knowing that this is a vital part of my home. And this is a person who deserves respect. And the least I can do is respect her or him, if that's the case. Yeah. Ruth has been here for 12 years. Mm. What would you like to tell her? First of all, I appreciate her. She has gone out of her way to, to be with us, to love us, to take care of us. Um, even the nature of my jobs, um, I travel a lot. She, I know that wherever I am, my house is taken care of. She, she is a sister to me. More than being the caretaker of my child, she's my sister. So I have gone even out of my way to meet her, her family. I know her kids, they know me. Um, I make sure that anyone who comes in this home accords her the respect that she deserves. And they know that where I am, there's always Ruth in the background. So I think that I would want her to know that she is valued, she is respected, and we really, really love her in this household. Yes. And that is Ruth's story and we've also got to hear from her employer. I hope, I sincerely hope that maybe there's just one or two things you've learned from these two beautiful ladies that you can be able to apply in your own situation. And then I was also thinking, do you think uh, you can be able to watch this video together with your nanny? Or do you think you can be able to share the link with your nanny? She can watch it in her own time. Maybe when you go to work during the day you can just tell her 
ukipata nafasi tafadhali ona hii video kuna pengine mawaidha kidogo unaweza shika kutoka experiences ya Ruth I, I, I think that is maybe something you can consider doing others thank you so much for watching in case you haven't subscribed please consider doing so thank you and share this video with some other mom some other parent some other house girl who maybe can be able to benefit so much from the stories of these two ladies thank you and i'll see you in the next video